gonna win though. I got Marcus gonna join me. We're gonna do active captain. What a day. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Welcome back, folks. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, folks. You're in for a long treat right here today. We're gonna put a ton of fish in the boat. Let's get it on. What's up, folks? How are we doing today? Hey, it is bright and early in the morning. We're talking about seven o'clock, 7.15ish. And uh, I think it's high of 32 or three. Very little wind though. I got Marcus gonna join me. We're gonna do active captain. I wanted to walk through, before we get started, some of the things on my boat, some of the new things that are going on in the boat here. So come with me here. This is gonna start off the episode before Marcus get here. So um, first and foremost, I got a new mount from Cornfield Crappie Gear. Saw the video prior from Cornfield Crappie Gear. I'll link it above here and probably below, but definitely up here above. Um, there, are really concerned about the safety and the ability to see out, out the bow of your boat because of everything that's up there now. So they now have these folding uh, telescope, folding mounts that get it out of the way when you're running down the water. So check it out. Fishing with this now for probably about two weeks and I love it. It gets it out of the way. This is how I run down the water with it right here. And that gets it out of my way, out of my field of vision and it pops up just like this. So you'll pull the pin right here right here and then it's a basically a cylinder there and it keeps it there sturdy right there so right back down and that's how I run with it right there so when I want to run I just pull the pin back up or want to fish I bring it right back up so I have now got a um, 36 volt Ultrex. I'm a firm believer in Ultrex, not sponsored by Ultrex. They don't do a hard thing for me or by Minn Kota. But I'll tell you, I do believe in the Ultrex. I believe how fast it is. And I know there's a lot of other ones out there, the Force, all that stuff. But I had an option and I literally bought another Ultrex because I wanted 36 volt. This thing's a beast. Built in side imaging, down imaging, the whole nine yards. It's iLink. Um, it is basically the best that they have to offer in regards to the Ultrex. And I just love the feel of the uh, the foot pedal. So here's some views of it. So again, to me, it's a it's the sturdiness of the pedal. The pedal just feels rock solid with the Ultrex. Um, not a cheap plastic. I'm not ripping on the Force. I know a lot of people have the Force. Um, it's just not for me. It's, I just I love the Ultrax. That's what's new on the boat right now. Now I do I do have a amped outdoors lithium battery that's going to be put on here. That's going to be the backup and or the primary uh, power that's going to power the live scope system. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying some braid line. I don't typically like braid line, but K9 sent me some braid line and said, Matt, hey, check this out. And I know you're you know just just give us some feedback. And I said. I'll do it. What I like about it is it's really uh, thin. So we're gonna give this guy a try today. That's what I'm gonna start off with. I've already got it put on the rod and we're gonna give K9's braid a try and we're gonna do active captain. Let's wait for Marcus. He's on his way. I am. All right, well, I decided to start with the fluoro just because it's what I'm familiar with. That's a nice little eater right there. We're gonna keep some today, Marcus? Sure. Marcus wants to play some fish in it, but that's a perfect eater. That's about 11 incher. That's number one. Like I said earlier, Matt called me up to help me catch some fish for an episode. Just like I always do, I deliver. What a beaut. That's a
perfect heater size right there, 11 and a half. Fatty. Fishing guide service at your service. <laughs> I can't talk. So what we're doing right now is this fishing schools. I'm gonna give you some active casting of it. It's kind of hard to see the baits go through them because they're so big. So that's a school right there. That's a big. That, that was we would consider that a very large school. And uh, those fish are anywhere from six to you know 14 foot down. And that's just a massive school. So it's really hard to kind of follow your bait. So that's a good fish. That's a that's a 12, 12 and a half. You can see some of that school right there just dropped down. That's when they get a little spooky. But for the majority, they're still in here. You can see half that school is on the bottom right. So feedback on the braid is it's super, it's super uh, sensitive. It's also super smooth. Now, that's a solid fish right there. Um, I don't know how I feel about braids still because I know there's the there's still the ability to get tangled up on the tip of your rod. So, but I can tell you that it's really, really smooth. And I think it has a lot to do with the diameter of it. So let me just read you some of the stats on that. So, it's 0 0.06 millimeters. It's a five pound test. This is 125 yards from K9. Try it out. I, it's probably the best I've felt. I'm gonna to continue to fish with it and try it out because I can tell you that during those episodes I did at uh, Lake of the Pines, um, I saw the value in braid fishing that deep um, because of the stretch in fluoro and mono. And I, I fish with fluoro across the board now, um, but there's still some stretch. Now I did have a lot of success there. There's no doubt you can still do it with fluoro. Um, but I could see the value of it now. And uh, if I can find something that really works and I'm gonna keep trying this out, I might make the switch to it. Marcus is on the trolley motor, so we lost the school. <laughs> <Boom. laughs> I saw that whole thing happen, that was fun. This guy wasn't a quitter. <laughs> Came at it twice and then fired back at it. We did. prettier in a crappie in the fish world anyways Marcus is available so <laughs> you're still available right yeah. <laughs> yeah there's a bunch of bait fish going on right now so loop knot for the hundredth time just because I'm doing one right now you might as well just see it through the eyelet swing it around poke it right through that hole that you just built 
and we try to keep that gob of, that's the gob right there, as close to the island as I can do it, which guide trips are going great. There is a select amount of dates available for uh, the springtime. That has a lot to do with the tournaments and such. So book now, you can email me at threepoundfishing at gmail.com or you can call me at 618-694-5162. Winter fishing is fantastic as, you know, I put Marcus right on these and he's, he's having the day of his life. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And we do have some select beanies left. We only have about 10 left. So this is a, uh, Marcus is actually sporting the black one. So we have blacks and grays left. Um, starting to look like a nice live well. That's a good eater. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. Just gonna, it's a beautiful day. I forgot my bucket. We're gonna see. That's gone. Got something I can borrow. <laughs> I saw him grab it and I was like, did he, did he grab it? And I was like, I didn't feel it. What else can I tell you? Folks, we're gonna be fishing the Crappie Masters trail and the act uh, marcus is definitely going to be joining me at some events at the crappie masters um, whenever he's available have a blast out here <laughs> good fish it's a good eating size fish They don't all have to be hammers, folks, to enjoy crappie fishing. That is a... A double! So, you know, one of the things I want to talk about the three pound fishing Elite Series rods. Let's talk about it. Marcus got a good fish there. That's a good eater. Um, so here's the deal. One of the biggest impacts people get when they fish with a three pound fishing elite rod right away is that it's not heavy and it's not super stiff. What that allows, let me just tell you what it does. It's, it's stiff enough to set the hook, okay? Marcus, you got the 10 footer? Yes, sir. Okay, and I think I've got the 11 footer. And, but it, because it's not so stiff, it gives you the ability to cast it out. So you can do it all with it. We're a big believer in the 10 footer and three pound fishing boat. And we've made a believer to the point where we sold out of them. Now they're gonna come back in March. Uh, we get the new shipment in March. But because they're not stiff, I can, we can cast with them, we can flip with them. We can do a lot of stuff with a 10 foot, 11 foot, even the 13. They just have enough backbone to set the hook, let you feel the fish, um, they're just versatile rods, and most people's first impression is light. And you really can't ask for better position than what we just did. That was that was two baits that went an absolute, and so that it's it's kind of a tough fight, really. You just have to stick with it. So we're staying with this school. We're 30 feet out. You saw Marcus's fish get lifted out of there. He was coming right through the center of it. And basically, most of those fish are gonna be roughly around the same size. So that's a that's an 11 inch fish. They're a little spooked because they're moving faster. We're always targeting behind the school and then just rolling it right on right on the top layer of it a good spot.
you might have saw that one. So, good active captain right there. That's school fishing, baby, in the wintertime. Marcus is gonna go home with a, with a bag full of fillets, so we're gonna show you that footage when we get there, and uh, we'll see you back at the dock. Folks, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to fillet a fish. Done this several times, but we're gonna do it again. Take one of Marcus's fish. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Now I use the Bubba knife, okay? I don't know if it's any better than the Rapala personally, but that's what I use right now. And I like the fact that it's cordless. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Check out uh, some of the products that we talked about today. Cornfield Crappie Gear, K9, Ozark Rods, the three pound fishing elite series. Those are a big part of the success. It was tough fishing out there today, but we had a ball. We spent uh, roughly about three hours, 30 fish. And uh, to me, that's a successful day right there. S successful half day, that's, that's a great day. I mean, check out those fish, folks. Awesome day. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies.